Hey man! Uh, this is the explanation video for my radar system over there, so if you haven't seen it, do go onto my channel and check it out. It is a very based thing that I've made, and I'm very proud of it. Anyway, here's a detecting system. It uses a minecart clock, and yeah, it doesn't use a repeater clock and stuff like that, so it works when you load a chunk and when you leave the game and come back into it. Like, I just left the game and came back into it. Yeah, this still worked. Anyway, the uh, pistons over here serve two purposes. Uh, wait, hold on. These are all one tick pulses. See, the minecart just goes through and does one tick. Yeah. So anyway, these pistons do two things. They keep the arrow from despawning, so if the arrow keeps on moving like, like that, uh, the, uh, piston, I mean, the arrow doesn't despawn, yeah. Uh, the other reason is so that it lifts the arrow off the pressure plate and, uh, puts it back down because, uh, let me give you an example over here. If I have a arrow on a pressure plate, and I get rid of the fire or I move away, it's just going to stay on now, it's going to toggle on. It will not turn off unless the uh, arrow is off the pressure plate. So that's what these pistons do. They push the arrow off the pressure plate and come back on. It might not look like it, but the arrow is on, a pre on the pressure plate. I think the model around the uh, arrow is bigger than what it looks like, that's why it's touching the uh, pressure plate, as you can see there, it's pushing the pressure plate down, but yeah, you just have to, if you're going to set this up, just aim for the square there, like right in the center, that white square, yeah, then we'll work, so anyway, let's explain how, how the uh, arrow itself works, so, what happens is that, as you can see, the arrow doesn't push the uh, pressure plate down. A uh, reason for this is because it it's not heavy enough. It's like a stone pressure plate. It's not heavy enough. But, if we have fire, which generates particles, particles plus the arrow is heavy enough to push the pressure plate down. That's how I think this works. The reason why how I think this works is because... Uh, I did uh, a couple of experiments involving torches also. Uh, wait, hold on. I'll remove that. Place the arrow down. As we can see, the particles are going up. And when we... We should be able to see particles when the arrow goes down. There we go. The arrow goes down. As you can see, particles are coming out. That's just... Yeah, that's why. Uh, just to show you how I think the reason why... It's because of particles. Uh, let's just say I do that. And I put an arrow down. hope this makes sense. If I break this block, if we see, we, when we break a block, all these particles come out. It's the same as smoke and all that is the particles. Uh, if I break it, that's not activated. But if I break... Wait, hold on. Let me get rid of that. Let me break all these. Uh... Now, if I break it now, it activates, because you see the uh, particles jumped on the pressure plate, touched the pressure plate, and pushed it down. Uh, that's that's how I think this works. Uh, it could be, like, something else, like, yeah, but that's how I see this works. It's because of the arrow plus particles is heavy enough to push the wooden pressure plate down. Uh, yeah. That's basically all the explanation that I really need to cover. I did not invent this, like the arrow, whole arrow and fire thing. I didn't find that out. It's been out there in the world for months now, I do believe. It's just that no one ever uses it because they don't know how to keep the arrows from despawning and make it reliable from leaving and coming back into game. But uh, I think I, I, I found a way to fix it and it's using this system over here. Uh, each pixel is 17 by 17 of the of this radius over here. It's 17 blocks by 17. Uh, I have set up a little door system over here to show you a little example of what you can use this as an application for whatever you want. Uh, say that I'm walking, 
Bottoms are way too mainstream. Just stand here and it opens. I can go through. I can walk and it will close by itself. Like whenever it feels like. There we go. Another application for a trap is TNT. There we go, TNT. Yeah. TNT is, uh, it also works for TNT because it, well, it's basically just a button, it's just that it detects when a player goes by. Because particles are created when someone is near a particle area. Like, see this redstone, you can see the dust going off, if I go back a bit. The, you don't see the dust anymore, except from that torch, but if I go even more back, you don't see anything from that torch. That's basically uh, the particle system. Uh, this works online too, in, in multiplayer. I've tested it out, it does work. Uh, the only really hard and difficult thing of making this is shooting the arrow onto that square, because in multiplayer, when you shoot an arrow, it, it never shoots where you aim. Like, never. So, yeah. Oh, that, that hasn't closed yet, there we go. Uh, you can put this for elevators, you can use these for a lot of things like your house and all that. You don't even need to press a button, so you could probably like scratch your butt while moving forward without having to stop. Take your hand out of your butt and pressing E with your mouse. I mean, not E, with right click, and then opening the door with, your, with two hands, you can just walk by. Opens the door, just walk away like a beast. Anyway, that's basically it. I hope you guys like this. And if you, if you really haven't seen my radar, please do see it. And if you haven't subscribed, do subscribe and tell everyone about me. Because more people that look at my stuff, the more pumped up I am for making new things for you guys. So, yeah. Bye.